So I was thinking about braiding my beard. Yeah? yeah. Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. I'm Ryan. And Angela. From Arnie Music. That's right. Deep in the heart of Texas, that's where we are. That's where we are, hence all the western See? background. It looks like Texas in here. It does. So we're gonna answer your questions today. Yes. And we have fun doing it, so get ready. First question, Mike Cashel. I just shaved my beard this week. I was outside working in the yard. Moment of silence. I was outside working in the yard and sweating a lot in the Alabama humidity. Mm -hmm. It does get humid in the Bama. Yes, it does. When I came in to take my shower, I decided it was time for the beard to go. Angela and Ryan, who, who are each of your top three mythical characters Book, comics, or movie, and why? Hmm. Mythical characters. Mythical. Plinth. Plinth. Moist. Moist. Mythical. Um, I don't know. I'd have to really think about that. That's a good question. I don't think anybody's ever asked That's us that That's a pretty question. good one. That's pretty good, considering how many of these we've done. I think that was the first. Bravo. Um... I would have to say, going through all the books right now, trying like in my head. Oh, you'd have to see like a Lord of the Rings character would have to be like Legolas or something to be on that list. Okay. Because that's a book that is like, yeah. Because um, he's awesome. Because he's awesome, and you know, um, um, or movie. Oh my god. Uh, I haven't seen the Wonder Woman movie yet. Um, that's more, I mean, she is comic, but... She could count. She could count Wonder Woman in the comic version, you know, mm -hmm. the comic books. Why do you like Wonder Woman? I, I mean, you know. I like her, um, her alter ego, her little... Diana Prince. I, I liked her alter ego. I liked, um how she had truth on her side and how strong she was in Amazonian and how well she represented womankind. And I, I, like, I really liked that as a kid. There was just something about it that just, just stirred my heartstrings when I was a little bitty. So I would say Wonder Woman. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so hard. I'm going to be so generic because I my brain is just completely farting right now. So, um, and say Katniss Everdeen. She was pretty, she was pretty awesome. I didn't care how it ended, but the book of her and the description of her and what she went through and how she handled it was pretty, pretty bad, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So Legolas, a Wonder Woman. All women. It's Legolas is not a woman. <laughs> uh, there's so He's many. An elf. I I am such a sci-fi person. I'm surprised you didn't say the Doctor. Yeah. Candace Everdeen is cooler than the Doctor. He's. I can he, see that. Really, honestly, I haven't been excited about the Doctor as I was for the first, you know, couple seasons since the first two seasons of Matt Smith. After that, it's just kind of gone downhill from there, and it's sad because that was like that's that was my childhood. It was kind of, you know, when they started making all the different Star Treks, it was kind of like, uh, you're going too far away from the original, and that just it just, uh, yeah. So yeah. Okay, there you go. I told you I was like I can't. There's too many. There's too many of them. So I was just very generic. It's too hard to pick three. But Wonder Woman is at the top, definitely. Above Legolas. Yeah, definitely. But you know, when he swung around and and got on the the horse and you know, and he was whipping out those arrows and that was just so, just like, whoa! That was the coolest, other than like Neo dodging the bullets on the rooftop. That was just Pretty like sweet. cinematic, that was like, just happened. That was so cool. You, you know, I liked it. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. What's mine? I don't know. All right. My turn. Uh, Thor, 
<laughs> Thor and Thor. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, comic book Thor. Not, you know, mythical Thor, but comic book Thor. Mm -hmm. He's way up there, obviously. Um, who's next? Oh, that's tough. Luke Skywalker. Oh, yeah. yeah. You could go so probably Luke. I didn't really have a Star Wars favorite. I just liked the whole thing in general, so that would have been hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, Legends Luke Skywalker. Not, you know, you know, the extended universe Luke Skywalker, particularly, which they've gone and erased and doesn't really count now, but uh, he was he was super awesome. He got even awesomer after Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. Now they're screwing it all up, but uh, yeah. Legends. Old canon, no longer canon, Luke Skywalker. Yeah. And let's see, because he's awesome, and when I was a kid, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker. Who didn't want to be Luke Skywalker when they were kids? Right. People who wanted to be Han Solo. People who wanted to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> People, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> Comic books, you know. Um, and movies is tough. I mean, Luke, Luke's the movie guy, I guess. Yeah. And Thor is technically and the comic book. guy. Yeah, and book. You're, That's true. You reached book for the book one level. That you like the best. And let's see who else. Oh, and Blade. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wesley Snipes Blade. Yes. Not the kind of lame '70s comic Blade. Alice from Resident Evil. Wesley Snipes Blade. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Thor, Luke, and Blade. Oh gosh. I don't know. There you go, Mike. Even, even like Battlestar Galactica and all stuff. Way to stump us on the question. Yeah. Thanks, man. Next question. Junior Chopper. Hi, what did you not <clears throat> like about Star Wars Episode 7? Mm. Great channel, thanks. Well, we've kind of answered this previously, like right after we saw it, but we'll, we will re elaborate. I don't even remember what our answers were other than the s spoilers. To Spoiler the alert. No one has seen it and they've been waiting until. I don't know what. If you haven't seen to it go now. see it. Yeah. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, you're not a Star Wars fan. That's true. So you so deserve to be. You deserve spoilers. <laughs> so they killed Han Solo, which was totally stupid. Yeah. So what I did not like about it is that they waited too long to bring in Luke. They yeah, killed yeah. Han Solo, and um, they changed the dynamic between um, Chewie and Leia because Chewie didn't come to Leia and console her after it happened. He just walked past her and Ray consult. Uh, I should have, yeah. So apparently even Mark Hamill didn't like that. Right. Mark Hamill thought it should have been like Luke and Leia and Han and mm -hmm. it should have been Luke and Leia, you know, seeing Han get killed. Yeah. And think of the emotional, Oh my gosh, that would you know, be intensity stuff yeah. if it was Luke and Leia. Because then it'd been happen. like Luke like almost turning to the dark side because it'd been like, you know, Anakin versus, getting worse and Padme dying, said, you know. Versus like these two characters who just met him like, you know, six hours ago. Right. And they're emotionally they're, like, they're emotionally you invested. Don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So not like the rest of America, the world. Yeah, and I didn't like how it was it was essentially a rehash of a new hope. I mean, let's just copy that episode four and just redo verbatim. it. Verbatim, verbatim. Verbatim. And I was really emotionally invested in the whole after Return of Jedi universe that had come about through I think everybody books was. and comics. The real Star Wars fans were. Yes. Real Star Wars fans were. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff. I didn't care for... Um, didn't like how Kylo was such a whiny baby. Yeah. Throwing they temper tantrums. They could have they omitted him altogether, honestly. Um, I didn't like how they were talking about the stormtroopers and I didn't like that whole dynamic of it because again if you follow the Clone Wars and even the cartoon the Clone Wars and read some of the books it's like having this Boba Fettian universe of the clones and not have anything not even a remnant or any mention or I think they should have instead of had this guy unmask himself and it's just kind of like and the, the comedy and almost, was really awkward. And, oh, and the dumb comedy. It was so stupid. Because even whenever Han Solo, because Han Solo was the comic relief, other than R2-D2, yeah, was the comic there. relief of the first three. And even then, it was a level of sarcasm yeah. and wit that it wasn't, it was just ironically funny. It wasn't just, 
you know, this was when Chewbacca didn't want to go in the trash compactor, and he was just like, what? And he shoots back at it, and, you know, yeah. that was kind of like, come here, you know? That's little things like that. That was kind of funny, or like, don't get cocky, kid. Little things that was just like, you're yeah. a little short for a stormtrooper. And it was just like, ironically funny. It wasn't like him, you know, yeah, it was tearing up his console like a two-year-old, and the stormtroopers go, okay, yeah, it was. Walk, it know. didn't. It didn't feel right. Yeah. It yeah, was. Yeah. So we have a lot to say about yeah. what we did. But in you go back and watch one of. Go back Apparently, and watch all of the last. Thank you, Junior Topper. Way back there. <laughs> Thanks for making me relive a traumatic experience. Yes, exactly. All right, there you go. Next question, Ken Rogers. What happened to your finger, Ryan? Practicing kung fu. This finger. It's not the naughty. It's not the it's naughty. Not. It's not. It's this one. No, I had a bandage it's on a my quasi knuckle. quasi ring finger. I had a bandage on my knuckle last time. Yeah. Uh, no, I actually had a. I guess it was a wart. Yeah. On my finger. That... It's like a cap, like a bite turn, well, callus turn wart. Yeah, it, it was. Had a, I had, like a really long time ago, I like got bit on my finger by a fire ant, mm -hmm. which hurts like. Hades. A dick. The Dickens, right? So I had a fire ant bite. And eventually it kind of scarred over, it healed up kind of weird, and but then I was messing with it and I actually kind of pulled the scar tissue out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I had like a little hole in my finger. Then over time it grew in, and then eventually I guess it, I guess it turned into a wart or something. So, uh, but I've already taken it off once. You have these little band-aids you put on there, and it kind of dissolves everything, and then you know you pull it off, and it's good, and it was smooth, and it's been like that for forever. But then it started to come back just a tiny little bit. So I, you know. Compound W <laughs> and coach's tape. So, uh, yeah, no kung fu. It was uh, gross. It was. Um, it wasn't gross. <laughs> I was assaulted by a fire ant and it got out of hand. Yes. But it's getting better. No pun intended. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> got out of hand. <laughs> Chris Sorantos. Hi, Ryan and Angela. I have a long goatee and I've always wanted to braid it, but my wife won't go for it. Uh, Ryan, would you ever consider braiding your beard? How would Angela feel about that? <laughs> well, I've not seriously considered it yeah. much, but the other day you were trying to braid it. Yeah, it was. Because I wanted to see if it would actually braid. Because he gets it trimmed, so this part is short. So it's shorter yes. here, it tapers down. So I thought, I wonder if it will actually gather and braid. And I thought, if I can get it to where I French braid it here, and there and then bring it to the point and then bring it down i was you know it was bored you know just like yeah anything when you're just sitting there and just staring I'm like huh i wonder <laughs> but not because i'm like hey babe why don't you sport that sexy man braid in the front of your face <laughs> no that's not no i know maybe one day if it's <laughs> long enough but like i said it's got to be the right length you know for like every day for like every day wearing you know, I do, it's, you gotta trim it a little bit shorter on the sides and then let it kind of grow out, but I'd consider it, you know, a, you know, in a Viking kind of way, Viking braids, but mm -hmm. what do you think? Mm -hmm. You should try it just once, just for fun. Okay, yeah. Because you can always unbraid it. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. Cut clip to a picture of you with it braided. If we braid it. If we braid it. We'll show if we braid it, it, we'll show a picture. <laughs> all right that's all the questions for this week guys thank you so much for watching thank, thank you for you. your comments <laughs> and if you have a question for next week leave it below see that's what i was waiting for to comment leave it below yeah. you're adding your own doubt of things yes i am <laughs> and uh, we'll try to answer next week somebody got a text somebody that sounded like your phone <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. You need the music. We need the music. Yes, we do. And more questions. <laughs>